Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to easily add a custom domain to your Shopify store. Adding a custom domain to your Shopify store that matches your brand can help build authority and trust with your Shopify customers. Everyone on Shopify is automatically given a myshopify.com URL to get started, but to change your web address, you'll need to add a custom domain. This is a simple process and can be done in a matter of minutes. You have several options to change your domain on Shopify, including buying a new domain, connecting an existing domain that you already own, or transfer the management of your domain to Shopify to manage all of your domain settings from your Shopify admin. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to purchase a custom domain directly from Shopify and go through the setup process to connect it to your store. So go ahead and log into Shopify and head over to your dashboard. And if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, you can also sign up and try it out for free by clicking the link in the video description. So from your Shopify admin dashboard, let's look at the menu on the left hand side here, go all the way down to the bottom and click on the settings tab. This will open up a new window where you can manage your Shopify store settings. If you look at the options on the left hand side, you should see the domains tab. Under the domains tab, you can view all of the domains you currently have connected to your online store. By default, your online store will already have a domain, which is your store name .myshopify.com. On Shopify, you can add up to 20 domains or subdomains to your store in addition to your myshopify.com URL. But from here, you can connect an existing domain, transfer a domain, or even buy a new domain directly from Shopify. If we click the buy new domain button here, We'll be taken to a page where we can search for and purchase the domain that we wish to use for our store. If you want to add a new domain, you can easily purchase the domain directly from Shopify, making the process super easy. As an example, let's purchase quantumdesignshop.com as a new domain for my online store. You can simply search for the domain that you want, and you'll see tons of different options that you can select from. For my store, I'm going to use the .com version, which is around $14 per year. So let's click on the buy button. You can then finalize your order and even set it to auto renew each year. Once you've added all of your information, go ahead and click on buy domain. And voila, the new domain for my online store has now been purchased and added to my Shopify account. If you already have multiple domains, you can click the set as primary option here to use your new domain for your shop. And voila, now when I go to quantumdesignshop.com, this should take me directly to my Shopify page and display the URL I purchased for my page earlier in the video. So now whenever anybody goes to quantumdesignshop.com, they'll be taken directly to my new Shopify page. Remember you can have your primary domain as well as several subdomains that direct to your shop. If we check out the drop down menu at the top right here, we can also see several other options to manage our domain. This is where you can edit your DNS settings, transfer your domain to a different Shopify store, and other options. So let's see what else we have on our domain settings page here. We've already set our domain as primary, but if we wanted to set it back as a redirect, we could click here to do that as well. From the subdomains menu, you can add new subdomains as your primary, redirecting, or market domains. If you click the add subdomain tab here, your subdomain can be added as a prefix to your root domain. Remember that your Shopify store can have up to 20 domains or subdomains and up to a thousand with the Shopify Plus plan. You even have a menu here where you can manage your email forwarding. This is super handy, especially if you're managing a lot of emails in your Shopify store. You can have an email address with your store name and forward it to your main email address. And finally, we have our auto renew menu which for my URL is set to renew every year at $14. So that's a quick overview of how to purchase a new domain on Shopify and connect it to your store. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, you can give it a try for free by clicking the link in the video description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.